What's up YouTube? Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I will go over five things you can do in order to look better in pictures. Let's get started. One fact you can manipulate is lighting. And this makes a huge difference. It can either wash out all of your definition or if it hits you in the right places and it's in the right position, it can really bring out your definition and make you look leaner and more ripped than you actually are. A second way to alter your appearance in a photograph is by pumping up. And this basically puts blood in the muscle and enlarges it temporarily from lifting a weight in order to achieve that specific goal to make the muscle bigger and more full. And if you do this, it really shows in the photographs. And I'll show you what I mean right now. A third variable you can play around with in order to make yourself look better in photographs is using angles and posing. And let me show you what I mean by that. This was my typical bicep flex. If I were to lean into the camera and rotate my body in the correct angle, it may make me look that much bigger and better. Number four, we have the most controversial topic in the sports, fitness, and bodybuilding world, anabolic steroids or PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. These obviously change the appearance of someone physically. And of course that would show up in the pictures as well. Honorable mentions are tanning and using oil, but for number five, I'm listing Photoshop. And Photoshop can digitally alter a photograph of someone. You could pretty much do whatever you want to the photograph. It can be made to be realistic, but in actuality, the picture may be closer to animation. So many pictures of people you see online may not even be real. And these physiques are usually not attainable or humanly possible to achieve. As you can see, it's just that easy to Photoshop. You can add in some abs, increase the chest definition, cap the shoulders, and I just did all of this in about five seconds on paint. So imagine if you did this for a living, it can really be deceptive and misleading to people. So don't believe everything you see online. That's a wrap for today. I hope you found this information useful. Subscribe to my channel, like it as well, and keep coming back for more.